you're looking for the crowning touch that will grace your home for generations to come. You're looking for a meticulous standard of craftsmanship which is rarely found in the modern world. You want to have the pleasure of building a family heirloom which will become an antique of the future. You want to feel the well-earned pride of having made a thing of beauty, an investment that will last and last. The Emperor Clock Company has just what you're looking for. Recreate your childhood dreams by building your very own Emperor Grandfather Clock. The first Emperor Grandfather Clock Kit was sold in 1968. Since then, over one million customers worldwide have acquired an Emperor Grandfather Clock for their own homes. We all can appreciate the timeless elegance of a Grandfather Clock. Their classic traditional design can be the crowning glory of any home. All Emperor Clock kits are constructed to the highest standards of craftsmanship. Emperor long case clocks are made entirely from solid cherry, walnut and oak. These North American hardwoods are listed as greenwoods by the Friends of the Earth organization. In the UK, the Emperor Clock Company is a family-run business. We believe in the importance of giving close customer service and offer a no-quibble, in-house, five-year guarantee on all our products. Assembling an Emperor kit is simplicity itself. The precision-made doors and frames come completely pre-assembled. You don't need to have any special skills to build yourself an Emperor Grandfather Clock. You'll enjoy making it. A million people already have. As you see it grow to completion, piece by piece, you'll marvel at the amazing precision of the joints and you'll find the 30 or so hours needed are totally absorbing. The movement has already been built for you. All you do is fit it into the case. As you would expect, Emperor uses only the top quality German mechanical movements made in solid brass. We want you to have the greatest enjoyment from building your grandfather clock. That's why we've taken care over every little detail in preparing our kits so that you'll find that the assembly is completely problem-free. Emperor clocks give you hours of enjoyment, are easy to build, so that you can put the perfect finishing touch to your home. The poet Keats once wrote, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. A grandfather clock is an heirloom to be enjoyed for a lifetime and can be passed on from generation to generation. An Emperor Grandfather Clock enables you to create something that will become an antique of the future. A Grandfather Clock puts a living heart into your home. In fact, many customers tell us that over the years it has become a fully-fledged family member. Speaking of families, the Trimming family, who own and run the Emperor Clock Company, will be delighted to show you around the showrooms at Emperor House in Ascot. Emperor House is adjacent to Ascot Railway Station and has ample free parking. You can choose from three kinds of wood, Appalachian Oak, Pennsylvania Cherry and Black Walnut. The choice is yours. We will advise you in selecting the correct wood and the right colour stain so that you can achieve the perfect finish to complement the colour scheme in your home. What about the clock face? All our dials are made from the finest materials, brass, silver and metal. And to further enhance your creation, 
We can also provide you with a hand-painted dial in any one of a myriad of styles. There is room for a grandfather clock in the house. From the petite and delightful Augusta to the stately grandeur of the Churchill, you'll find a grandfather clock the right size for your home. So, if you have any questions, our skilled staff are always ready and willing to advise you. In fact, most of them have had over 10 years experience helping you acquire the perfect clock for your home. If you're unable to visit Emperor House or your local stockist, use our color brochure to select your grandfather clock. You can order from your local stockist by telephone or post with complete confidence. If you have any trouble using the brochure, remember you can telephone our free phone information line and we will help you identify your requirements. You can choose from a wide range of chimes, pendulums and glass. The final decision is up to you. Our stockists accept all major credit cards, cash and postal orders. Ask for written details of our interest-free and other credit schemes. We will give you a full refund within 28 days if you're fully satisfied with your purchase. And to help you decide whether you would prefer a fully assembled model or whether to build one yourself, the last part of this video shows you how very easy they are to build. An Emperor Grandfather Clock is the crowning glory of any home. It is a superb example of meticulous craftsmanship. It is a family heirloom and becomes an antique of the future. An Emperor Grandfather Clock is a pleasure to build, a wonderful investment you'll always feel proud to own. It becomes the living heart of your home, a thing of great beauty which will give you joy forever. Put simply, the perfect way to invest time on your hands. For further information and for details of your local agent, telephone our information line, free phone 0800 252 026. That's 0800 252 026. 026. Ask for written details of our interest-free and other credit schemes. How to build an Emperor Grandfather Clock. You'll need only a few tools to build your kit. Everything else is provided for you, including all the hardware. The finishing kits come complete with everything you need. Included with the kit is an easy to follow step-by-step -step instruction manual. By following through these simple stages, you will find the whole procedure very rewarding and absolutely straightforward. We will take the Newport 120 as our example. Stage 1. Check that all parts are present and correct. Every care is taken to ensure that your Emperor clock kit comes to you containing all the right parts and that every part is machined to exacting standards. Our specially designed packaging ensures that all parts arrive undamaged. However, we do suggest that you check your kit on receipt. The assembly instructions include pictures and dimensions of all the parts in your kit. Simply check off all the parts to make sure that everything is present and correct. Rock crystal beveled glass can be supplied as an optional extra. But if you're fitting plain glass, have it cut to the door size now. Stage 2. Wood preparation and test staining. All the wood pieces in the kit have been factory smoothed but a final preparation is necessary before continuing. The importance of good preparation cannot be overstated. Use the garnet paper and wire wool provided in the finishing kit. Rub down the wood until the surface is smooth. 
Then wipe the wood with a damp cloth to remove any excess particles. Use wire wool on mitered and turned parts. To test finish, select panel number B1 from the side of the base and stain and polish a section on the inside fascia. This helps you practice your technique and ensures you have the right colour. Stage 3. Fitting the wooden case. First, fit all the parts together. Your Emperor kit comes complete with all the difficult pieces already pre-assembled and all the mitres, mortises and tenons pre-cut. The doors all come complete. The dial frame comes complete, the waist collar comes complete, and the base front comes complete. The wooden case consists of three sections. While the order of building the sections is entirely up to you, in our example we have chosen to build the base first. The base consists of three parts. The first group forms the box. This consists of the front frame and panel, two sides, the rear cross brace and the three filler blocks. The second group is made up of the upper and lower mouldings. These are purely decorative. The third group consists of the bottom ply, four levelling blocks and the adjustable feet. Taking the front frame and panel, remove the panel. It will be refitted later after staining and polishing. Place sides B1 and B2 into the mortise at the rear of panel B3. Fit the rear cross brace using screws and check that the box is square. At this point use the garnet paper to smooth down the overhang. This will give you absolutely perfect sides. Now dismantle the box and fit the filler blocks on your work surface. The filler blocks are the parts upon which the base will rest. Finally, apply glue to the mortise and tenon joints and rear cross brace. And ensure that the assembly remains in square while it is drying. This completes the base box. Fitting the lower base mouldings. The decorative mouldings on the bottom of the base can be secured by means of wood screws inserted from the inside. After making sure that the fit is properly square, remove the mouldings and prepare to glue them together to form one complete part. Place on a flat surface to line up the grooves with each other. Glue the surfaces and allow them to dry overnight. While the glue is setting, hold the mouldings in position by means of tape or clamps. After the mouldings have been glued together, retry the fit. Then slide in the base ply. Take the four levelling blocks and screw them into position. And lastly, fit the adjustable levelling feet. You have now completed the base section. Having completed the construction, remove the mouldings and feet assembly ready for finishing. The upper base mouldings are fitted during the construction of the waist. Building the waist. The waist consists of eight main parts. The waist collar and door come pre-assembled. Simply follow the same procedures as you did when assembling the base. Fit the waist mouldings as you did for the base. To join the waist to the base, simply lift the waist over the base and slot it in. Preliminary fitting of the door. There is no need to rebate the hinges which are surface mounted. Align the hinges and make the holes for the screws. After fitting the door, remove the hinges. Building the hood. Using the mortise and tenons, slot the hood sides, dial frame and waist collar together. Then fit the cross braces.
completing the box. Fit the mouldings and columns as before. To join the hood to the waist, simply lift the hood above the waist and slot it into the waist tenons. The fitting of the wooden case is now complete. How to get the best finish? A more professional finish can be achieved by staining and polishing certain items as separate components before completing the final assembly in stage 5. The parts we recommend for staining immediately after dismantling the case are the columns, the left and right sides of the hood, the dial frame, the crown and crown returns, all of the mouldings and the waist collar. Now dismantle the case. Stage 4. Staining and polishing. Have you tested your stain and finish? If not, this is your last chance to do so. Apply the wood stain with a soft cloth. A brush can be used, but it gives less predictable results. Staining may not always be even. Go over any lighter patches. Polishing the cloth. For the first coat of Danish oil, you may wish to mix in an equal amount of wood stain. This has the effect of balancing and protecting the colour. Allow the oil to dry and then apply the first coat of pure Danish oil. When this coat is dry, you may prefer to do a light rub down with wire wool to ensure that your surface is absolutely smooth. Apply additional coats by repeating this process. We suggest that four or five coats of Danish oil are applied to achieve the best finish. Each layer has the effect of building up the luster and bringing out the natural features of the wood. This final coat should be applied very sparingly with a soft cloth. Maintain the finish with a beeswax furniture polish. This has the progressive effect of building up a deep natural luster. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can always rub back and start again. You can call us for advice. Stage 5. Final assembly. Follow the same procedures as in stage 2 for the preliminary fitting of the wooden case. You can now glue the joints together and fully tighten all the screws. Stage 6. Installing the movement. The solid brass mechanism is supplied as a single, complete unit with its own written instructions, describing in detail the assembly procedure. Join the dial to the mechanism using the pins provided. Fit the clock hands according to the instructions. Now lift the complete unit into position inside the back of the hood. Fit the whole assembly onto the seat board. Fit the movement clamps to keep everything in place, hang the pendulum, mount the chime board and the chimes, hang the weights, wind up the clock mechanism and gently start the pendulum. Regulating the timekeeping. Using the adjusting screw on the bottom of the pendulum, lengthen the pendulum for slower and shorten for faster. Stage 7. Fitting the doors and glass. Having completed the staining and polishing of the pre-assembled door units and having pre-drilled the screw holes for the hinges, fit the doors and fit the hinges, then fully tighten the screws. Then, using a knife, cut four pieces of the glass retainer strip to size. Lift the glass into position and simply push in the serrated edge of the glass retainer strip. This completes the assembly of your clock. We want you to make the perfect clock. If in doubt, just call us for advice.